Jacksonville State wrote a big first half. They outscored Murray by 13 points. Were great beyond the arc, but they pounded inside. Brandon Huffman attacks the rim. Huff? Hey, you said beast. I, I think you could identify both guys as beasts. As Kane Henry slips to the basket. So the last three weeks, Bob Smith has been coming off the bench. He's doing it again tonight. And that's a good sign for the racers, but they couldn't stop Kane. And it, it took a month or two to gel, but outside a four-point loss to Belmont, they've been unbeatable down the stretch. And Jalen Finch with a little. So Finch had the creation, and Purdue knocks it down. Jawan Purdue. And just closed the season with his best weekend. And a three goes down for Damari King for Jackson. Deep three for Adams, and it rattles down, and he shoots an arrow on his way. Check this out. Deep. That's the one word I have for that. So this is the, the Huffman block the last time, and uh, ouch. Chico Carter taking a hard fall. Conference, Jacksonville State rarely ever gives you a second chance on defense. And how about that drive from Kane Henry? Lost his footing there for a second. And Huffman it might be. It's not for the faint of heart. Deep three for King. Swirl machine, you gotta have him on the floor if you're Murray State. And Huffman one more time, my goodness. You know, did get seven points, but high volume from him. And a great catch in from Jay Powell. How about I felt like he would be more active, particularly in the low post. Well, there you go. An awakening for Kane Henry, and JSU has an early junior. And he's got the defense here on King. Gave it up, and the three goes down for JSU. Adams and Brown, and to your point, both averaging nearly 16 a game. A quick strike from Jawan Purdue, and he has been their offense. Into the low close to Williams. And Bob, you were monitoring Huffman. He's back in there and fighting through Williams, and he muscles one up. Like the touch by K.J. Williams, too. Six to shoot here. Adams late in the clock. Drives in and scores it. What a move. Smart of Henry not to take that shot. Go a little deeper in the clock. Adams, big hit for the Gamecocks. On a night where he hasn't had his best, he comes up in a big moment. It's possession. Darian Adams has gotten going late. Into Huffman, draws two, and the hook shot gives the Gamecocks the lead. Long run snapped. It was 7-0 before the Hill three. Here's Darian Adams, their guy, his three, and he rattles that home. Big shot for big. Oh man, this is so much fun here in Evansville. Coming down to our final 58 seconds, it's a one. He just hit that big three to put Murray State in front. He's on the attack here. It's a one-point game. McMullen inside. Got it pinned. Huffman is there. Huffman has been the man at the rim tonight. And McMullen is playing with four fouls. On the other way after this from Huffman. Big time. I and mean, what can you say defensively? McMullen is going to. He wants to jam it. Huffman. So many Murray and Belmont matchups throughout the year. Will we get it a day early? It will be Jacksonville State keeping their stay alive here in Evansville. It's Adams working in on Brown, and he takes him to the block. And Jacksonville State with the first. Heart rate's high in Alabama and Kentucky right now. It's Huffman right into that same spot that Adams just scored. Yeah, he just had two baskets since the extra period started. Adams with four to shoot. Backing up on Brown. And he got a three. Well, they called it two. He thought it was a three. Off. Final 10 seconds on the clock here. JSU trying to get it back to even. Finch reversed it and scored it. Oh man, we are seeing a show tonight. Late in this, it's Finch stepping back. And it's off, offensive rebound, and it's stuck back on the reverse by Henry. 